for this show, you know, obviously an heirloom is something that's precious and it develops its precious quality, um, usually because of some kind of sentimental value, but also because um, it's something that's passed on um, from generation to generation. When you're thinking about the anatomy of an heirloom, you're thinking a lot about things that, you know, what are the parts that make that thing special and what are the parts that make the passing down possible. I've been representing two strains of projects. One um, of a series that I started working on that's dealing with cuts and burns and using as a reference material some of the gingerbread and the fretwork in the town of Fredrickstead specifically. Um, what's unique however about Fredrickstead and what kind of got me thinking about this, this connection between burning is that Fredrickstead town had a major revolt in 1878 where much of the town was burned down and then rebuilt during the Victorian era. And one of the things that I discovered is that really, you know, this, this, the two tools that were available to people for resistance were cutting and burning. You could take the same cutlass that you were being forced to work all day with and you could transform that tool into being a tool of rebellion and at the same token, um, burning, you know, was highly, highly feared as a form of resistance, that there's this amazing connection between cuts and burns as a language of trauma, and, you know, that same thing about our heirloom, um, how we pass on this legacy of trauma and resistance. The other project that I'm doing um, for this piece is a series of photographs, used in terms of juxtaposing things from here and there. Uh, this image that was in the Wood Plantation Museum, and then hearing and juxtaposing that with an image that was in the Danish National Museum of an uh, uh, African Danish West Indian woman. And um, it, it was just such an interesting narrative by taking these two images that are existed, but just putting them in the same space together.